<laughs> What's going on? It's Brock, and this is what you do when you completely fail trying to uh, do a gameplay with the alternator with akimbo weapons, and you get stuck with a Semtex. Just run up next to the guy. That's what they get for using Semtex. Um, I'm a frag man myself. So this is a domination in every sense of the word. Uh, I was actually playing with a subscriber the other day, uh, Cold Merking. Um, you know, look up his channel. Uh, give him some love. Uh, really cool. Just added me on Xbox and we played. We were beasting on a, a two-bar connection. Um, you know, we played some Domination. I really didn't have too many good games and decided I wanted to uh, throw up a Domination game on my channel and went out and played like two or three games and realized why I didn't really like Domination uh, solo. So this is the best one. Um, a few more deaths than I wanted, but a pretty decent score and gameplay. So this is what you get. This is also part three of my injury series, and I'm going to be talking about the time that I dislocated my elbow. And along with the story, I'm going to have uh, a picture of the x-ray, and in order to see it, you need to like and favorite this video. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not one of those people. Uh, it's just going to be at the end of the video. Um, if you don't want to see it, just when the when the gameplay ends, you know, just click off. Um, it's it's really not like nasty or anything, but oh well. And real quick, um, the the reason I also enjoyed this game is because I played the objectives too. I think I got like five caps and four defends or something like that. Because. I'm one of those guys. I, I try to play the objective as much as I can. So, this uh, story begins uh, my first year in college, uh, university, for those of you overseas. And I was playing rugby for the University of Utah and was lucky enough to be uh, a backup to a guy who was all American and was learning a lot from him and you know really looking forward to a, a good season and our first game of the year we were just absolutely destroying this team and so I got put in and you know I was super excited and I, I was doing you know I was doing decent I'm not gonna try to lie and say I was like amazing or anything but basically um, it would take like a 20 minute video for me to explain the rules of rugby but for those of you who know there was a line out and uh, we stole the, the team's line out and I went and was rucking and uh, for those of you who don't know I basically there was a big pile and I put all of my weight like I grabbed a guy on my team on the that was on the ground just to protect him and I had all my weight on my arms and someone from the other team came running straight from the side and hit the top of my left arm and that's illegal you can't come in from the side in rugby and uh, when he hit since I had all the weight on my arm like the bottom half of my arm stayed and the top half went in and down and I just heard this loud pop and unlike all the other times that I've been injured where I just started swearing like non-stop uh, I went into shock pretty much because it was the first time I had ever been like seriously hurt and I just I just like stumbled over to the sideline and just fell down and I didn't say anything and it took about 30 seconds for people to realize that I was hurt because I just wasn't saying anything and so finally our trainer came over and you know, by that time I kind of was coming to and look at this guy ah pisses me off I was so close to dogs right there sorry so our trainer comes over and you know he realizes that I have to go to the hospital and so I go and uh, the doctors just couldn't believe how <laughs> how dislocated my elbow was 
Um, it took it took three doctors like putting their feet up on the table and like yanking my arm to uh, get my elbow back in and I had a lot of torn tendons and such and uh, ended up requiring surgery so I have this huge scar on my left elbow look at this this is smart right here you know I have a like a very bad gun for distance and I saw I knew there was a guy in that window but I didn't go for him because I knew he would obviously win that battle and was able to get four kills when I probably would have died instead of if I just had gone after him but uh, back to the game you know I um, it, you know I had to have surgery I have this big big scar on my elbow that I can actually make look like a smiley face if I want to when I'm in a good mood and okay, I'm one kill away from dogs and I can't get it because everyone's still in my kills um, so uh, the the uh, the x-ray was so bad that our trainer um, who's also a, a medical professor at the the University of Utah he saw it and couldn't believe how bad it was that he asked for my permission to show it in his class because uh, it was such a good example of an elbow dislocation so I was pretty proud of that you know I uh, I have a legacy now so that was the the first time that I retired from rugby and um, came out and this is the my next uh, installment is gonna be uh, the when I came out of retirement and dislocated or not dislocated tore my first ACL um, but that you know it's a shorter story um, so that's gonna do it for me I, I really hope you enjoyed watching and uh, please 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 tell me how I can improve I really appreciate any feedback I can get and uh, other than that that's gonna do it stick around to see the picture We got them going down for the